Another year, another dollar given to the United Nations so they can continue to financially support our enemies. I'm Robin Kinderman and you're watching JBS Straight Talk. Last month, the UN Green Climate Fund, also known as the GCF, decided to fund the oppressive North Korean regime in an effort to supposedly help it combat climate change. Keep in mind that the U.S. is the single largest contributor to the U.N. system, providing nearly 22% of the U.N.'s regular budget and over 28% of its peacekeeping budget. For example, in fiscal year 2017, the U.S. contributed more than $8.5 billion to the U.N. So when we say that the U.N. funded or is funding something, a large part of those funds are coming from you and I, the U.S. taxpayer. So what exactly is the GCF and what are they really doing with the money? In an article recently published on thenewamerican.com, Alex Newman describes it as follows. The outfit, often ridiculed by critics as the Green Climate Slush Fund to subsidize third world kleptocrats, is a wealth transfer mechanism that claims it supports developing countries responding to climate change. In other words, it's the UN scheme for transferring money from developed wealthy nations like the US over to underdeveloped third world countries in the name of somehow combating climate change. According to documents published online by the Green Climate Fund, North Korea requested these funds to help them develop a package of training and capacity building exercises in order to help the communist dictatorship better coordinate and manage GCF and other climate finance and to better engage with GCF and providers of climate finance. What? What this means, according to Newman, is that the UN bureaucrats will be teaching Kim Jong-un's minions how to keep the climate finance funds continuously flowing to his regime. According to North Korea's official request for the funds, their Ministry of Land and Environment Protection will be managing the money. And on the UN side, the scheme will be managed by the scandal-ridden UN Food and Agriculture Organization, known as the FAO. This program has little to no real accountability, and it's taxpayers like us who will be footing the bill to help transform North Korea into a green workers' paradise. This is just the latest example of how the UN is extorting Western taxpayers to prop up both itself and its mass-murdering allies. Newman explains that this is not the first time the UN has funneled American money to Pyongyang. The UN development program helped build the Pyongyang Semiconductor Factory in the 1980s. According to both U.S. and South Korean government sources, the regime uses that plant to produce electronic components for missiles, many of which are aimed at U.S. forces and American allies. We can't truly promote peace in this world by funding or building up our enemies, especially through morally bankrupt and corrupt organizations dedicated to the destruction of our national sovereignty, such as the United Nations. For the sake of all Americans and Koreans, it's time that both Congress and President Trump step in and put an end to these UN wealth transfer schemes. We can do so by telling Congress to get us out of the United Nations. No organization has done more to precipitate armed conflicts throughout the world since the end of World War II as the UN has. It's past time that we get out. To learn more and take action, please visit our Get Us Out of the UN Action Project page at jbs.org. Until next time, Take care and God bless.